it's me, Janisha Stanley again. Today I'm going to review the book Annie Easley. This book was written by M.M. Ebok and it is illustrated by Elena Baya. And I'm going to tell you a true fact about Annie Easley. She is a human computer, like Indian Sagundala Devi. This book is small. It only has 24 pages and has no actual chapters. You might think so, but those are actually headings, not chapters. Annie Easley was born on April 23rd, 1933, in Birmingham, Alabama, the most segregated city in the United States. Very few African American girls went to college then, but Annie's mother said, you can be anything you want to be, but you have to work at it. And she kept that in her heart until she died. In 1954, Annie got married, and then in 1955, she moved to Cleveland, Ohio, and then she joined NACA. Well, what is NACA? It is called National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Then, in 1958, it changed to the NASA we all know today. Annie joined NACA as a human computer because she loved math, and she was a math expert. And did you know that computers weren't even invented yet? So they had to solve math problems by hand. Annie could figure them out very easily. So she helped other scientists by figuring out math problems just by hand. I'm going to tell you some problems Annie faced at NASA. Only four African Americans worked there. They were not treated fairly. Once. All the workers posed for a photo when only Annie's face was cut out before the photo was on display. Imagine your face being cut out before the photo was on display. What would you do? Would you tear it in half or scream or do something else? But Annie didn't do anything. She just didn't give up. She just said, if I can't work with you, I will work around you. I was not about to walk away. That may be a solution for some people, but it's definitely not mine. Later, computers were invented, and then Annie learned about computers, and she became a computer programmer. She wrote codes for missions to run, rockets, rocket engines, hybrid cars, and more. She wrote codes for lots of stuff. And then in 1970, when she was 37, she didn't give up and got her degree in mathematics. She was so excited and happy. Annie retired from NASA in 1989 after 37 whole years of working in it. Then in 2011, she died on June 25th at age 78. She wanted to be, do math and become a human computer, so she did. And she said, don't listen to people who always tell you, don't try it, it's very difficult. Just don't give up on it and stick with it. If you want to become a human computer like Annie, stick with it. If you want to become a doctor, stick with it. If you want to become a scientist, stick with it. One day you will be anything. Everyone, go and read this book to learn more about Annie Easley, NASA's human computer. And everyone, thanks for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned in on my new videos. Oh, fly over to my next video. See you there.